I tried to get an Uber with my dog the other day, and you'll never guess what happened. Hello, mate. Hi, mate. Uber for Zach? Sorry, mate. No dogs. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, also, mate. Yeah. Your channel sucks, and you're ugly. What the fuck? What the hell? I was shocked, appalled, desperate for change. Then I remembered who I was. I'm the man that tested pet-friendly shops with alpacas and came out on top. So when I received an email from Uber telling me they had just released a pet-friendly rides option but didn't specify what sort of pet you could bring, I did what any normal human would do by hiring a gaggle of increasingly scary animals and I'm going to work my way up to see just how pet-friendly Uber really is. No way, no way, no way. <laughs> Ride number one, we've got a dog. Now surely they're going to accept a dog because it was on the email. But will they accept Sully? Up, 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 up. <laughs> He's 10 stone. And he's a very, very good boy. So, Sully, are you excited for this ride? Right, I think he's here. Hi, mate. Hi. Are you pet friendly? Sorry? Pet friendly? Oh, this is too big, my friend. Too big? Yeah. He'll squeeze up small? Uh-oh, not off to a good start. Let me sort it out something at the back, yeah? Uh -huh. Oh, no. Uh, he needs to go on someone's lap. Right? He needs to be on someone's lap. You should. I promise, he's a very good boy. My friend. I appreciate it. Good boy. Good boy, Sally. Good boy. Ha! Yes! Good. Success! After a bit of persuasion, we were on the road, just. Can you please? Now's a good time to explain that if the Uber driver makes it all the way to the destination, they will receive a maxed out tip. But of course, I'm going to try everything I can to make it as difficult for them as possible. <laughs> uh. He weighs 10 stone and he takes poos bigger than my head. <laughs> this guy can fight with a lion. This one is quite... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I tried could shake the Uber driver. He was just too calm. Before I knew it, it was over. And we had already arrived at our destination. And thankfully, just in time. Bye! Oh, he's taking a shot. Oh my god, he's oh taking no. a shot. That was so lucky. Oh. <laughs> it smells so bad. <laughs> so we know the concept works. We got one happy Uber driver with a cash reward. And now it's time to up the stakes. Now it's time for the skunk. If it sprays is bad news. And then Uber pet. And we found ourselves a victim, uh, a driver. Let's go get the animal. Just a little bad boy. He's about to cause some chaos. You know what to do, flower. How you doing, mate? You alright? You pet friendly, yeah? Yeah, yeah, no. Sweet. Whoa. What is that? What? It's a cat. What is it? A raccoon or something? That's not. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna... not scared, bro. I'm just You're not scared. What is it? What is it? So this, this is a skunk. Oh yeah, skunk. That's giving <laughs> the fart, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Despite a great start, the more I talked about the smell, the more worried the driver started to look. Apparently it's so bad, yeah, that in Canada, if they hit one with a car, they have to get rid of the car. <laughs> we'll put it on your shoulder. No, 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 no. <laughs> yep, this man's not having a good time. But despite leaning as far away from the skunk as possible, he was still committed to reaching our destination, but not without some critical feedback for Uber. You see, when you book the job, does it ask what pet you're bringing? It doesn't, does it? No, nah, it doesn't. Someone Someone it it <laughs> Next up. A bloody owl. Severus, are you ready? He's ready. Let's go. Now this beauty may look cute and fluffy, but he doesn't deliver mail for fun. Severus will eat a rabbit and feel no remorse. He's a bad boy and even disrespected me in my own home. Next destination, the owl bookshop. It just makes sense. Hi mate, it's Zach. I've uh, ordered an Uber. Three minutes, I'll be there, okay. Alright, thanks mate. Okay, Owl. <laughs> Hi mate, you alright? Just to confirm you're pet friendly, yeah? Yeah. Alright, brilliant. I'm just going to put this down, just in case. What is it, Yeah. Don't look him in the eye, Chama. <laughs> What's going on, Channa? You look like you've seen an owl. Have you ever taken an owl in your car before, Channa? I couldn't seem to rattle Channa. He just didn't seem to be scared by anything. But maybe that's because he's never been slapped by an owl before. No. Oh, I've just got slapped. <laughs> Severus just slapped me in the face. <laughs> Thank you very much for you're taking you're us. Welcome. Yes, we made it. Channa wasn't phased at all. And now Severus can finally get some new books to read. Excuse me, are you owl friendly? Are you owl friendly? Oh. I think we need to ramp up just a little bit. 
Yep, that's right, a massive birdie in Tarantula. Surely this would stop an Uber. But there's one problem. I'm way too unfazed and brave and sexy and definitely not scared, but I know someone who would hate it. My editor, Scott. So for the next journey, Scott's going in with the Tarantula. If he can last a minute, he gets a hundred quid bonus. That means you have to hold it for a minute in your hands. Hundred quid for a minute of pain. Safe to say this man is regretting life. But thankfully, Trevor, the professional animal handler, had some advice to calm his nerves. Watch those front legs. If it brings them up, there's the fangs. And what's he going to do with them fangs? Uh, puts them into your body and pumps a bit of venom. A bit like a hypodermic <laughs> drug. So my hundred quid is safe. Have you seen the spider? Oh my god. I do not like the look of that. I'm so glad you're doing this and not me. Right, he's there. He's turning the corner. Any last words? I'm going to work for Max Fosh. <laughs> Are you pet friendly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You have your dog? I just uh, need to lay the thing up. Oh, it's not a dog, it's a little spider. Oh, oh no. Are you all good? Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, can can touch touch look at the fangs on there. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe you love it. I can't believe it. We bring one of the world's most common fears into the Uber and the driver loves it. London Uber drivers are different gravy. They've seen it all. And while the driver was loving life, Scott was not. So while Scott fends for his life for the next minute, I'm going to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Revolut. Revolut is a financial super app used by over 20 million people worldwide. And if you sign up with my code today, you're going to get a £20 welcome bonus. I wonder how Scott's getting on. Ah, uh, there's the front leg. Oh, watch it, watch it. When you sign up, there's a ton of perks like being able to customise your own metal card. I drew a cat on mine. I wonder what Scott would draw on his. Probably a spider. As well as that, you get a load of discount at your favourite stores like 30% off at Adidas and a load of discount at local restaurants and coffee shops. Start doing that! Just getting your venom ready. <laughs> what do you mean? It's also never been easier to split the bill with your mate and keep an eye on your budgets. This is exactly what my notifications look like today. These two bits here are the spinnerets. So you look yeah, the don't care. Sign up with my link in the description. Terms and conditions apply. Right, it's done. It's done. Minute on. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. No. You really made my day. I'm hoping we've got at least one thing in the bank that is going to make the driver cancel. Oh my god. It's a fucking monster. Yeah, I'm not getting in the back with that thing. I'm in the front. So how am I going to up a tarantula? We're going prehistoric with this one. Right, next up, this hell of a beast. He is so thick and muscly. And I'm talking about you, Rob. Right, we've got a cave in here. I'm scared shitless of this thing. So Rob's going to be by himself in the back with it. I don't think this is going to work. I don't think they're going to accept this bad boy. Let's do it. For this super trip, you know it makes sense. We're going to Snappy Snaps. I'm very nervous about this one. Hi, mate. Is that? Yeah. Uh, you're pet friendly, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you are. Brilliant. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? There's nothing. Any chance he can have a kiss before we go? <laughs> I mean, it's weird, your reaction was just to laugh. So if you saw that in the wild... I'm kind of nervous, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Is it slightly worrying that you have to keep your eyes on the road, but he's literally <laughs> right over your shoulder? <laughs> oh, you want to be careful not to enrage him. By the way, if we get pulled over by police, just don't say... There isn't an animal in the car. There's no animal in the car. There's no, there's no none here. Right. Nothing is here. Because you'll be the one that goes down <laughs> for it. How much bone would he chomp through? If he, um, um, if he got... Take your hand off at the wrist. You need your wrist for driving, don't you? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Tattoo is his favourite flavour. <laughs> My friend, <laughs> pleasure. Well deserved tip. Thank you very much. What is going on? I'm as confused as you are, but another successful trip from Uber. I'm impressed, but it's time for a new plan. So far, we had ramped up the animals based on fear factor. But this time, we're going for just about the most unexpected thing you'll expect to find in central London on a Tuesday. How so, you ask? Got a bloody penguin, ladies and gentlemen. His name's Pringle. Nice to meet you, sir. It's not the scariest of animals, you see. However, he does shit a lot. He also smells like fish. It's not even that bad. It's not that, isn't it? <laughs> and we're going to try and feed him fish. So, it may not be the scariest, but it definitely is the weirdest. Ready to go to Iceland? No! I'll take that as a yes. While we waited for the Uber, it's safe to say the penguin was gaining a lot of attention. No, that's not a penguin. It's a really cool dog. <laughs> this could only be a good thing. 
but I'd be willing to bet all my money that not a single soul would be willing to take smelly old Pringle in the back of their car. He was arriving. Let's see what he thinks of this penguin. Hi, mate, for Zach. You're pet friendly, right? Yeah, by the pet hospital. Where's your pet? Um, it's a penguin. Thanks, mate. Appreciate this. I've never seen a penguin before. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing about penguins is they do poo quite a lot. Yeah, as long as it's on your lap or your blanket. <laughs> May the penguin poo more. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in a group of uh, about 20 penguins with his husband. Ooh. With what? He has a husband, uh, penguin. Penguin? He's, yeah, he's homosexual. This one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> that one I don't believe. He can fabricate. A story. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pringle looks pretty mad that you'd say that about him. If someone was to bring in a giant snake, would you um, accept the ride? I don't have phobia for animals, but you have to use common sense to keep it safe. So a loose snake is too far? Yeah, exactly. I mean, whoever even does that... They'd have to be an idiot. No, an idiot. A double idiot. A double idiot. Yeah. Uh, where is his head going? Yeah. This thing is gross. Ugh, oh, super mean. Anyway, subscribe to this channel. Why not? That is not what a snake sounds like. Is it strong enough to kill me? Yes. Oh, he's got my wrist. One long muscle which strangles everything in its sight. Surely no one's having this. It's a posh van as well. Hi, mate. Ben, 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 ben. Yeah, are you okay with pets? What is it? What is it? A pet. Yeah, yeah. We got... Is it a big, what is it? Um, it's a, uh, what? It's a surprise. What's, what's the surprise? It's a snake. Okay. I want to see the snake. No, I'm not. It's a pet. No, no way, no way, no way, no way. No, come on, tell me the time. I'm having no snake. <laughs> so there you have it. Not all animals are born equal. I think Uber should change their policy. Justice for snakes. <laughs> Subscribe if you're not a snake and follow me on Instagram because we may just be getting you involved in some upcoming videos. Bye.